Okay, I haven't done an update on our housing situation for a while. For those who've been following my YouTube channel for, you know, three, four months, you know that a while back, um, my landlord kind of gave us an ultimatum to get rid of the birds or we got to get out of our house. Uh, we do have you know some unusual birds in our house a couple of crows the magpie um, these are all rescue birds the magpie has been with us for four years raised from a, a almost a hatchling and um, he's very much part of our family the crows even though they don't like to be handled and stuff are uh, you know we're equally we're very close attached to them um, one of them has been with us for a couple of years, the other one has been with us for a year. Neither one uh, can go back into nature, neither one can fly. They both had wing issues that could not be healed. So <clears throat> long story short, we're not getting rid of our birds, so it's time to move. And um, obviously it's going to be very difficult for us to find somebody else to rent to us with the animals that we've got and we don't really want to keep renting anyway we've been renting our whole marriage you know 17 going on 18 years my wife and i've been married first couple of years we lived with my folks and went back and forth between my folks and her folks and then start renting a place maybe the third year of our marriage uh, of our own and so it's been a long time we paid off one guy's mortgage on a duplex uh, we've paid in over a hundred thousand dollars into the into our current landlord's property That's only a two hundred forty thousand dollar property to begin with So we've almost paid half of his mortgage It's time to pay our own mortgage um, The problem was Our credit record had issues my student loans and stuff and then uh, And then uh, We just never had a down payment and all that so Last few months we've been really trying to pull things together. I have a, a very kind, generous friend um, who lent us uh, $4,000 actually uh, to pay down some of the debt we had so that the credit records would, would rise to where they need to be. So we did that, paid it down, um, and we've just been waiting for the credit records to rise. Just the other day we checked them out and uh, they're way up above what they need to be for us to get a mortgage. Same time, um, my dad agreed to uh, to give us $15,000 toward a down payment. I didn't expect that of him, you know. I don't consider myself to be a spoiled child that, that gets that kind of, that, that can expect that. Um, in fact, we had an alternate plan, which was we were going to take a line of credit or try to get a grant for that down payment. I never asked for the help from my dad, but he offered it. He said, hey, this money's going to go into a, a hospital coffer anyway. It's just sitting in my bank. So you might as well take it. So that gives us enough. That gives us um, enough to make a 5% minimal down payment on uh, a place that's about three hundred thousand dollars and this place right here this 129 um, that's for sale it's about three hundred thousand dollars so it's listed a little bit over that but um been looking at it they got a nice big backyard like way bigger than our current backyard they got the attached garage we like they got ac they got some trees and some bushes that, uh, you know, we didn't have any mature trees and bushes and that kind of thing. No alley in the back, you're just up against a fence line that, for the neighboring backyards. They got, they got five bedrooms in there. The base room, basement space for training is as big as the one that I'm using now. Um, so I can continue with my, with my Casey and, and uh, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu 
other martial arts training with my group in the basement. Um, it's got three bathrooms. It looks pretty nice. I don't like the color white, but you know, that's just a color. So that can, that can be changed. And in fact, starting with white, it's way easier to make those the, that kind of change. The color, whatever we want. Just showing here, this is the neighbors, but they got a they got a detached garage. It's taking up part of their backyard. We would have a backyard just this big, and you can see it over there with that uh, kid swing set and stuff. And you can see this couple of trees in the backyard back there. And uh, yeah, I think uh, that would be a really nice property for us. And a real nice home. Um, it's only, I've just been walking he, o over here to come and show it on this video. And it's only a 10 minute walk from where we were living. Um, it's kind of uphill a little bit. So, uh, not that we had any drainage problems before, but we'll have, we'd ha have even less here for some God knows what reason there's any flooding on the west side here. It's not going to happen at, at this house up here. Um, yeah, we're looking at it. We're looking at it. If we can make a move on it uh, fairly quickly uh, before it somebody else snatches it up, I think this might that might be the home for us. That little white one. Um, and then, you know, plan as soon as we can afford to 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 shift up the color scheme and that kind of thing. Inside, we can just get right started. But the outside, those. Uh, those, uh, uh, the siding is that new stuff that just comes pre-colored and that kind of thing. So, but one good hailstorm might have to replace the siding anyway, and then we just, just go with a different color. Yeah, so that's what, <clears throat> we're still gearing up to move. None of that has changed. Um, we're still expected to get out of there. The, my landlord, you know, he's a good guy. And uh, rather than just straight out evict us for the birds and stuff, uh, he at least is able to sit tight, you know, and uh, wait for us to get our stuff in place so that we can move into a place of our own. He's not done want to wait too long, but he agreed to wait till April. Um, so hopefully we'll be in this other house either here or elsewhere by that time but looking at the listings and you know what we can afford to make a down payment for this one over here uh, is the is the clo the you know the best best buy for the money it seems right now you know and for us for us, location is important. Like right here, we're we're close to uh, close to the university where my wife and daughter work, and just as close as we were before. Within walking distance, really, and uh, I'm still within walking distance, easy walking distance of the park where I feed my birds. You know, all that stuff. So yeah, it's looking like looking like we'll be moving and hopefully pretty soon. Hopefully we don't run into any more really significant obstacles that hold us up because it's time we get in our own place. And the important stuff for us, of course, is, you know, we just got enough room for our, our little family and I got a space to train and having some yard space for gardening and, and uh, for, uh, our our little menagerie of animals is important too so we've got all that potentially at this property back here and um, there's some others right around in our neighborhood too around the same price but not quite as nice of a of you know they're actually sell for a little bit higher um, just because of that being in that neighborhood but there's no trees yards are tiny you know, so we'll see, see what happens. 
it's another one up here um, I don't know if I like the design of this one it's all stucco but it would have a big backyard as well because it's up against what we call University Drive so it doesn't have any other houses behind it um, try to hustle up and show you I don't even know how much this one's going for I think it's probably out of our out of our range because when we looked online just typed in the the numbers anything that's within our price range and the ones that came up are the ones that came up it's this one here this this uh, big stucco one here that one's for sale I don't see any garage though so unless this is nah that's the garage for a different one so yeah that's no good we need the attached garage for the winter for our vehicles so vehicles don't freeze and shit it's pretty tough on the vehicles out here in the winter if you got to park on the road anyway we'll see what happens but i just thought i'd give an update